Hi boys and girls, how are you today? I had a good day, I went for a long walk, I did some baking, I made some cakes and I did some more painting today. I had a lovely day, I was very busy, so that's why I'm reading the story now. So our story today is Mr Bump and I guess you can guess what keeps happening to Mr Bump. You're right, he keeps bumping into things. Look at all his bandages and he doesn't look one bit happy. Poor Mr. Bump. This is the sad story of Mr. Bump. The trouble was that Mr. Bump just could not help having little accidents. If there was something for Mr. Bump to bump into, he'd bump into it all right. For instance, if you were to see Mr. Bump out walking down a street in your town, and if there happened to be something to bump into down that street, then you know what would happen, don't you? I think he's going to bump into it. Bump! Oh, poor Mr. Bump. He looks like he's really hurt himself. Mr. Bump was just the same at home. He lived in an extremely nice home, but even there he couldn't help having those little accidents. There's his lovely house. I hope he doesn't break things in his house. What do you think he might break? He might walk into a door and he might break his nose. He might walk into a table and bump a cup off the table. I hope he doesn't hurt himself. That's the most important thing. Keep yourself safe, Mr. Bump. For instance, one morning when Mr. Bump went outside his house, he noticed that the chimney pot had come loose in a storm the night before. I must fix that before it falls, thought Mr. Bump to himself, and he hurried to his garden shed to fetch a ladder. It was a very long ladder. Mr. Bump walked up the garden path with the ladder on his shoulder. He turned the corner of the garden path. Crash! went the living room window. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump, and he turned to see what had happened. Crash! went the kitchen window behind him. Oh dear, thought Mr. Bump again, and he rested the ladder against the wall of the house so that he could climb up onto the roof to mend the chimney pot. Crash went the bedroom window. That's three windows he broke with the ladder. So you can see how Mr. Bump had his little accidents. Mr. Bump had had many jobs, but somehow they never seemed to last very long. As soon as anything got lost or broken or splintered or chipped or snapped or cracked, or torn or burst or wrenched, or crunched or split or slit, Mr. Bump got the blame. Oh, well, that's not very nice because he might not have done it. Maybe it was somebody else. People shouldn't always blame the same person. For instance, when Mr. Bump worked on a farm, he tripped over the farm dog and spilt the milk which he was carrying for the farmer's wife and which the farm cat lapped up. There he is. He spilt all the milk. That was a bit of a pity because people need milk for their breakfast, their cereal and their cup of tea or their coffee. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a postman, he got his hand stuck in a pillar box and they had to fetch the fire brigade to come and set him free. His hand is stuck in there. I wonder did anyone who was passing try to help him pull it out? But the fire brigade came so he was okay. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a bus conductor, he fell off the bus and couldn't catch it up again and all the passengers travelled without having to pay. Oh look! <laughs> My goodness me! Everyone got to ride the bus for free that day! He forgot to collect their money. He couldn't get on the bus. For instance, 
When Mr. Bump was a carpenter, he found that when he was hammering nails, he hammered his thumb instead most of the time, and the nail hardly at all. Oh, jeez, his poor thumb. Must have been bleeding the whole time. In order to recover from this series of rather unfortunate happenings, Mr. Bump decided to take a holiday. There he could think about what sort of job he could do where he wouldn't be such a nuisance to everybody. Where do you think he's going on his holiday? I bet you some people are saying Spain because lots of the children in our class go to Spain. Where else could he go? He might go to Cork. He might go to Donegal. He might go to another place in Ireland, the country where we live. Or he could go to another country like Spain or France or Italy. So he set off to the station to catch a train to the seaside. He's going to the sea for his holidays. And he has his bag with him. And in his bag, he'll have his togs for the sea. And he'll have a towel and a sun hat and some sun cream. So his skin doesn't get burnt. While Mr. Bump was on holiday, several things happened. For instance, he fell off a boat into the sea and the lifeboat had to come and rescue him. Poor Mr. Bump. For instance, one day when he was quietly walking along the beach, minding his own business, he got his foot stuck in a bucket and as he couldn't get it off, he had to walk around with it on his foot for hours. Oh God. Poor Mr. Bump. Do you see the red bucket stuck on his foot? He couldn't get it off and he had no one there to help him. For instance, another time he was walking along the beach when he walked straight into a large hole that somebody had dug and he had to stay there all night because he couldn't climb out on his own. However, despite all these little accidents, Mr. Bump enjoyed his holiday. And while he was there, he had a splendid idea about what sort of job he should do. It was quite the best idea Mr. Bump had ever had. An absolutely splendid idea. I wonder what job it is. Let's have a think. What job do you think Mr. Bump is going to do when he gets home? Do you think he's going to be a builder? No, because he might hurt himself on a building site. Do you think he might be a hairdresser? Hmm. Well, he might cut himself with the scissors. Do you think he might work in a shop? He could. He might work in a shop. Although if he bumps into the things on the shelves, he might make a big mess. Let's see what he thinks. And now Mr. Bump works happily for Mr. Barley, the farmer. Mr. Barley has a rather large apple orchard on his farm and that's where Mr. Bump works. Because he can bump into the trees and the apples fall down and he catches them, collects them and gives them to the shops. That's a brilliant idea. Mr. Bump's job is picking apples but he doesn't use a ladder to climb up the tree to pick the apples like other apple pickers. Oh no, Mr. Bump has a much better way of picking apples than that. He just walks about. And before long, Mr. Bump, being Mr. Bump, walks into a tree. Bump. And what do you think happens when he bumps into a tree? And down falls an apple and Mr. Bump catches it. This makes the job of apple picking much easier and Mr. Bump is very pleased about his new job and Mr. Barley is very pleased about his new apple picker. So you see, the story of Mr. Bump isn't such a sad story after all. And if you ever bump yourself, you know what to do, don't you? Go and eat an apple picked by Mr. Bump and then you won't feel your bump at all. 
you'll remember that the next time you have a bump, won't you? Good. And that is the end of our story, Mr. Bump. Tomorrow, we will read number seven, which is called Mr. Snow. And today, before we finish our little video, I thought we could sing another one of our songs from school. So today we're going to sing, If You're Happy, Let Me Know It. So we'll sing it on one, two, three. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. And that is the end of our video today, boys and girls, and I will see you tomorrow.